Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to welcome you on Red Expo, one of the leading and most popular exhibition of Russian universities. We would like to invite you to the big world of Russian education again. Five Russian universities will be presented today during next hour. Uh, it is Tomsk State University of Control Systems and Radio Electronics, Irkutsk National Research Technical University, Moscow Polytechnic University, Moscow Poly, Saratov State University and Kuban State University. I wish you good luck for all the speakers and all participants of Red Expo. Welcome! Hello, warm greetings from Irkutsk National Research Technical University, Siberia, Russia. My name is Anna and I'm going to tell you about our university. So, Irkutsk is located in the eastern part of Russia, near with the uh, border with Mongolia and China. Irkutsk is a large city. Uh, population is around 1 million people. And uh, Irkutsk is a famous destination for tourists for visiting Lake Baikal. It's UNESCO World Heritage, the deepest lake in the world. And Irkutsk is just 70 kilometers away from this lake. Uh, first of all, I'd like to tell you some words about uh, Irkutsk, Irkutsk region, uh, because we are very famous of our uh, timber industry, oil and gas production, gold mining, hydropower, uh, production of aluminum, uh, polymer and petroleum products. So if you're talking about facts and numbers, so Irkutsk region, where our university is located, uh, has first place in Siberia Federal Districts in timber reserves. Also, we obtain 28% of gold reserves in Russia, more than 10 oil and gas uh, reservoirs, and three hydropower stations. So we have the cheapest energy in whole Russia. Uh, and this is our Lake Baikal, which we are very proud of. Um, and it, it attracts a lot of tourists. So, um, Moscow is the most uh, visited city in Russia, second place St. Petersburg, and Irkutsk is number three because of Lake Baikal. And now, um, talking about our university, also facts and figures. Um, here in the slide, you can see our international rankings in 2021. So, as you can see, we are in Times Impact Ranking, uh, in Green Metrics, and QS World University Ranking, Emerging Europe and Central Asia. Also, um, national rankings systems such as Interfax and Forbes place us among top um, well Interfax top 35 universities in Russia and Forbes uh, were number 33 63 sorry 63 uh, so Irkutsk has a long history of teaching. We were established in 1930 and have almost 90 years uh, experience of teaching. Uh, we have 18,000 students and 1,500 of them are international students from 40 different countries. Uh, a lot of countries in Asia, such as Vietnam, Indonesia, Mongolia, China, uh, we have students from African countries, a lot of students from such countries as Nigeria, Egypt, Morocco, Tunis, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, and many, many other African countries. And also we have uh, a good number of students from Europe. So, we also uh, have academic mobility programs with the partner universities from foreign, uh, from, uh, from abroad. So, we have around 100 partner universities in Europe and Asia. So, any of our students can undergo an academic mobility program for one semester or one academic year and study the, uh, at any of these universities for free. And also, he even can win a grant 
rent, which covers um, around $1,000 for medical insurance and for uh, covering his um, travel costs. So, uh, and now speaking about our programs. So, we deliver programs in Russian language and in English. Among our Russian taught bachelor's and master's program um, are oil and gas engineering, mechanical engineering, mechatronics and robotics, uh, aircraft engineering is one of the most popular our um, program. We also have information science and computer engineering, information security, uh, heat power and electrical engineering, architecture and design, civil engineering, uh, non-ferrous metallurgy, chemical technology, biotechnology, and some social courses, uh, humanities, I mean, uh, so economics, management, law, journalism, and also linguistics. Uh, one of the benefits of our university is that we offer Russian taught programs at a very, very reasonable, affordable pro, uh, tuition fee. So the average cost for um, bachelor's program is around 1,200 US dollars per one year. Uh, and speaking about our English taught programs, so we offer 14 um, full-time degree programs, seven bachelors, seven masters. So if you're talking about bachelors, this is artificial intelligence and computer science, environmental science engineering, power electrical engineering, finance and accounting, sustainable innovative economics, international business, journalism, and media communication. Also, we have te uh, technical operation of aviation equipment, which is 2 plus 2 program, uh, which means that for first two years, we teach students in English language. And also, they have um, a lot of hours of studying Russian. So, by their third year, their Russian is good enough to proceed their study in Russian language. So third and fourth year of study, they um, study in Russian language. Uh, and as for master's degree, uh, in English language we have uh, dig digital power energy, renewable energy, IT and geology, uh, big data analytics and artificial intelligence, enterprise and business information systems, and also MBA program. Uh, some of these programs, by the way, are double degree programs. So as for bachelors, uh, finance and accounting and sustainable innovative economics, it's a double degree program delivered with Shandun University located in China. So students will have two diplomas and study for two years at our university and two years in China in, at Shandong University. Uh, among master's degree, um, double degree program is renewable energy. This is a program delivered with uh, um, Polish University, Rock Law University of Science and Technology, um, has our students for one year and also students study for one year at our university and also have two diplomas uh, upon their graduation. Also, um, one of the benefits of our master's degree programs is its close relations with the business. So we don't only teach our students, but try to find future employees for them, employers for them. Uh, so as for enterprise and business information systems, it's a program delivered in cooperation with real businesses. So it's 1C company in Vietnam and also also 1C company in Mongolia. Uh, it's one of the uh, leading IT companies in these countries and we provide our students with internship at these companies. Um, also, uh, another good advantage is the tuition fee uh, for our English taught programs. So, um, 
tuition fee without discount is around two thousand seven hundred US dollars per one year, but we also provide very good discounts which are based on the um, admission tests which usually which students take. Uh, when applying, enrolling, enrolling to the university. So this discount, which, as I said, depends on the results of student submission tests, these discounts can be up to 80% for bachelor and for master's program. So let's imagine that you earn like very high score on your admission test and uh, you win this discount 80%. In this case, your uh, tuition fee per one year will be around um, around 20,000 uh, 20, uh, 20, rubles per one semester, so 40,000 rubles uh, per year, uh, which is very, very affordable. Uh, and of course, we deliver a foundation program, so Russian language course. Uh, it can be 11 month course. Uh, the tuition fee in this case is around 1000 uh, US dollars for the whole course. And you can choose areas of specializations, so whether it's chemistry, engineering, economics, humanities. Also, you can take intensive foundation course, which is only six six months long, uh, tuition, tuition fee is $800 uh, per the course, no area specialization, but it starts um, within the within um, academic year. So we have open admission for um, intensive foundation course, course which uh, starts on February 1st, then on March 1st, and uh, um, also I think we're going to run one more um, course in, uh, in the beginning of April. So you're going to study for six months and by September you will graduate and will be able to apply to any degree programs taught in Russian language after foundation course. And of course, our students of foundation, our graduates of foundation program uh, has a um, tuition discount for degree courses. So uh, previously, I already mentioned that we, our university, tried to establish cooperation with uh, different um, national and international companies to provide our uh, students with prospective employment. Um, so in the slide, you can see one of the uh, most famous our partners, industrial partners, which are eager to have our students to undergo internship and the best students can even find employment in these companies. So looking at the names, you can see that these are international companies such as Schlumberger, British Petroleum and a lot, a lot of Russian ones. Um, so if you're more interested in this information, you can ask our admission managers. They will be gladly um, happy to consult you on this issue. And uh, um, one important uh, issue is accommodation. Um, because I know in some universities, a dorms are located very far away from the university building and students spend maybe like one hour to commute from the dorm to the, build, to the main building. Uh, but it, it, it is not our case. We have one campus where everything is located very close to each other. So we have university building, dorms, gyms, um, football fields, um, clinics, shops, banks, and everything is on one campus. And the accommodation, of course, is provided to all international students. Dorms are located within a five-minute walk from the university. And you can see the pictures of our dorms with single and double placement. And the, to, uh, the fee for living in this dorm is around $50 per month. 
We also have cheaper accommodation with triple placement, which is around $15. So depending on your choice, you can... Mm, you, you can choose any of these types of accommodation. And uh, one important issue for international students is the cost of living in a foreign country, in Irkutsk. So uh, you can see in the slide that the total living expenses for per one academic year is around $3,800 up to $4,300. It's excluding, of course, tuition fee. So we calculated their food, local transportation, clothing, um, housing, uh, travel, even travel expenses is included in this um, in this amount, and medical insurance, which is only ninety dollars per year. Um, so this is it. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, on the slide, you can see contacts and our website of our admission office so if you have any questions please uh, write us we will be happy to guide you how to enroll to our university and uh, tell you more about our programs thank you very much thank you very much for your presentation and we come back to moscow to moscow poly please take a floor Hello, dear friends. My name is Alina Andruh, and I am representative of Moscow Polytechnic University. Our university was established in the year 2016 as a result of merger of six big universities. But our university dates to the year 1865. As I already said, our university was established as a result of merger, and because of it, our university has a wide range of different specialties, and every student can find what he or she wants here. And on our slide, you can see priority areas. We have almost everything at our university. We have autonomous transport, smart media, engineering design, art and engineer, media industry, urban studies and urban environment, economics and management, material studies, BI engineering, intelligent power system, and robot technologies. And let's uh, let uh, talk about uh, some uh, numbers. And uh, you see, you see in our picture, in our slides, that we have more than sixteen students, and two thousand of students are international ones and means we have a great percentage of international students from 64 countries around the world. Guys, imagine 64 countries in one university. It's a great number and we are really proud of this huge number because it proves that we provide high quality educational services and we do all our best in order our students can be uh, happy of uh, quality of educational services which are provided here. And also it is very important that we have a wide uh, range, uh, a wide number of dormitories of, in our university. We have 10 dormitories at our university with uh, nice locations, very convenient to get university and also uh, our university located in Moscow, in the central part of Moscow. And uh, also our dormitories have great uh, access to transport. It's very convenient to live here. And we have 52 uh, educational departments and we provide 160 programs. And uh, as I already said, we have uh, a wide a wide range of uh, different educational programs as a result of merger of big universities in Russia. And because of it, here you can uh, find almost everything. And, uh, by the way, it's very important to uh, point out that we have uh, educational programs in English language. 
Uh, it means that you shouldn't uh, speak Russian language. Yes, you can come to university and be in a language educated language, uh, English language educational program. And we have one bachelor program uh, in economics. You can see uh, in the slide. Yes, economics and business finance. Also, you see tuition fees. And part of this, we have. Also, we have also free educational programs in English language uh, and master degrees. Uh, it's logistic and supply chain management, innovative marketing and advertising, and also and also we have ecological safety in industry. And uh, it's an uh, English language program, and as I already said, we have a wide range of Russian language program. But, but guys, if you don't speak Russian, it's not a problem, because at our university, we have preparatory course department. What does it mean? Within the framework of preparatory course, you can, you can learn Russian language, and also a part of, uh, apart from this, uh, you can learn basics of your specialty. Because of which, we have two education profiles, engineering and technician one, and economic one. It means that within one year, one year, you can learn Russian language and, as I already said, basics of your future specialty. Guys, it's very convenient. And uh, you have just one year, yes, at first it seems it's a very short period of time, but we have uh, a great uh, professional professors at our university, the best faculty staff, uh, you know, and uh, they really do all their best and uh, due, to, due to their uh, educational services and high level, our students can speak uh, Russian fluently uh, in one year. And uh, not only due to teachers, but also due to atmosphere that we uh, created at our university, uh, due to our events that we uh, have a lot, uh, our socializing at our university, our students are able to speak Russian fluently uh, in one year and be uh, enrolled at specialty that they want. And you see all tuition fees uh, at uh, preparatory course department. And here, please, guys, here are uh, all stages of enrollment process for applications who I brought. Yes, here you see uh, the ranges. Yes, and um, it's very important to know this order in order to get your visa. Please uh, pay attention to it. Uh, I guess, I guess you can be able to read it. Yes. And, uh, let me don't read, uh, these stages, but pay specific attention to these points. And also here you see uh, very important information about documents for admission. Remember to have notarized copy of passport and a tourized copy of educational documents, yes. And uh, in some countries, it's also required to have for consular legalization. Uh, it uh, should be checked, yes, before before uh, submission of documents. And also, some countries uh, require the notification, yes. And also, uh, the most easy step, yes, it's for photos. You need to uh, send uh, them too. And as already said, we have very comfortable accommodation, yes, and uh, and fees uh, quite uh, low, yes, very valuable prices for it. And as already said, our conditions are uh, really comfortable ones. And you know, guys, university is not only about studies, it's also about extracurricular activities. And our students have very, very interesting extracurricular activities at our university. We have a wide range of different clubs and sections. You have, uh, you can develop all your skills, all your talents. You can uh, sing in our singing clubs. You can uh, dance, 
you can take part in uh, different performances because uh, all these opportunities are given at our university. Also, it's very important, yes, uh, to pay attention that we are located in Moscow, in uh, the city where it's very uh, comfortable to live, which is very, very uh, multicultural. Yes, it's like multicultural sport, and uh, it is very interesting to learn uh, here and uh, also travel uh, this city. And guys, you can uh, you can contact us if you have uh, some questions. So we uh, will be really happy to answer you. We are almost always available. Yes, we have for uh, WhatsApp. Here you see our several numbers and our email. Please don't hesitate to ask your questions. And hope to see you at our university at Moscow Poly. See you. Bye. Thank you very much for your presentation. And we're going to Saratov City, to Saratov State University. Please take a floor and tell us about the university. Hello, everyone. Greetings from Saratov State University. My name is Emmanuel Bello, and I am a student of Saratov State University, as well as an employee. And today I'll be giving you an insight into our university. All right, give me a second, you know, why I make this visible to you. All right, so let's go back in history. Saratov State University was founded in 1909 by the highest decree of the Emperor Nikolai II. The university has become a reference point from which, you know, the entire system of the higher education of Saratov and neighboring regions originated. In 1923, the Imperial Nikolai University has got the name of a federal countryman, the philosopher, writer and publicist Nikolai Gavrilovich Chernichevsky. In 2010, the government of Russia assigned the status of the National Research University to Saratov State University. Nowadays, Saratov State University is one of the largest and oldest university in Russia, included in the QS and Times Higher Education International rankings. According to these rankings, the university is one of the top 20 leading universities in Russia. The university complex includes 13 faculties, nine educational institutes, two colleges, basic departments in schools, industrial enterprises and institutions, innovation centers and enterprises, scientific, scientific educational and research structures, five museums and zonal science library, a film studio, a swimming pool and a ski lodge. Now, for foreign students wishing to study at our university, they have the opportunity to study the Russian language, to take a Russian language course at the preparatory department for the further study at the university, according to the chosen field of study. Right on my screen, you can see the distance between Moscow to Saratov. The distance between Moscow to Saratov by flight is about an hour and a half. At our university, we have over 20,000 students. We have over 1,500 foreign students. We also have 1,200 plus faculty members. We also have various educational programs, which include over 300 educational programs. Uh, right here, I'd like to let you know about the educational programs. Saratov State University is a classical university that provides programs of all levels of training, bachelors, masters, specialists, postgraduate programs, both in the natural science and field of knowledge and in humanitarian field. All right, beneath here, I'll be showing you, you know, some of the uh, most popular educational programs. Here we have informatics and computer engineering. Uh, beneath here, you can see the tuition fee for both undergraduate and master's degree orders. We have inform information system and technologies. Also, you can see the tuition fee beneath at this place here. Uh, we have biotechnical system and technologies. We have oil and gas. We also have medical biochemistry, bio, uh, medical biophysics, medical cybernetics. And I can actually let you know that this is actually a new educational program at our university under the fundamental medicine and medical technologies. Uh, right here for humanitarian studies or social sciences, we also have economics. 
uh, under here we have you know the under undergraduate and uh, master's degree tuition fee. We also have international relations, and I'm proud to tell you that I'm a graduate student of the Department of International Relations at the South of State University. Beneath here, you can as well see the tuition fee for both undergraduate and master's degree orders. We also have educations as well as physical education. We also have musical variety art. Um, right here as a link to YouTube, I would actually, you know, recommend that you check our university campus on YouTube for you to have an insight into what our campuses look like. Um, in respect to admission, um, here are a list of documents that you'd need, you know, to apply at our university. Application into the university usually starts from the 20th of June. And uh, the deadline actually, you know, determines is based on the rules of admission. In respect to accommodation, uh, the hostels are walking distance from the university campuses. Uh, in regards to our student life, we have various festive festivities and various uh, curriculum activities that students can partake in. By my right, you can see a popular Russian uh, festival, which is called Maslenitsa. And here we can see lots of foreign students and international students, you know, partaking in these programs. There are various reasons for you to study in Saratov because Saratov is a cultural, economic and educational center of the Volga region. It is located about, at about 850 kilometers from Moscow. Uh, today, Saratov is a large cultural center known for its theaters, museums, conservatory, the circus, architectural monuments, as well as libraries, universities, and research organizations. Uh, here, you can see some of the interesting landscapes of our beautiful city, Saratov. Beneath here, in case you have any inquiries or any questions, I would recommend you kindly write us an email at ied at sgu dot ru, ied at sgu dot ru, and we would be glad to take your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was really interesting for me also and for all prospective students watching us. Thank you so much, and we will go to... Kuban State University. Thank you so much, and speaker. Please take a floor. Dear friends, good afternoon. Welcome to Kuban State University presentation. My name is Sergey Edinsov, and I want to introduce uh, our university to our visitors. So, our university is a classical university, and last year we celebrated our 100 years uh, celebration. And uh, today, at our university, studied more than 30,000 students from 70 different countries of the world. So, uh, to understand where is the Krasnodar and what is Kuban is, I want to show you the map of Russian Federation. And as you see, the red point in this map is uh, a Kuban region, Krasnodar region. So it is located near the Black Sea, one of the south part of uh, Russian Federation with, with, with great weather and beautiful climate. So this is the main campus of our university. The most of faculties located here, students' dormitory also, and uh, <laughs> football stadium, swimming swimming pool, and a few different gyms. So all infrastructure uh, located in one point. And this uh, can help you not to spend time to traveling from your dormitory to university and back. And what is Kuban State University and why you should choose our university to study? So we are, of course, because this, well, because we are a classical university with a hundred years history, uh, history. So we have, uh, different fields of study at bachelor level 60 and 50 at master level. Also, we have multicultural student society. Uh, this year, students from more than 70 countries uh, uh, studied at our university. And of course, uh, our main point is a high level of education and highly qualified professors and lecturers provide the ideal learning environment to students. But also we understand that all students need to uh, get something more than just in education. In this, uh, in this case, we uh, 
we want that our students have their personal development time and uh, we give this opportunity to students to develop new skills and meet new people we have a lot of sports activities we just have fitness centers sport facilities all, and uh, including swimming pools as i told before and also different creative studios more than 30 for students at our university so about study uh, we have uh, 17 different faculties and institutes with the different uh, fields of study like biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics, computer science, also economics, law, uh, architecture and design, management, uh, journalism, uh, some kind of pedagogical studies, faculty of modern languages, of course, faculty of Russian philology and faculty of arts. This is a, just a few pictures to show how the different university is. Uh, we have a lot of different uh, labs, of course, and uh, also we have um, School of Robot Techniques for students and for people from different schools. How can you uh, join our university? So there is a two ways for you. The first of all, it is a scholarship from Russian government, uh, which are operated by Rosatrudnicist, where you can fill up an application form at educationinrussia.com, uh, pass entry exam and waiting for confirmation letter. In this case, you will study in Russian university for free. Uh, the second way, it is applied directly to university. At every university, there's some kind of different times when you can apply, but at our university, so you need to apply from June 20 till August the 5th. Uh, you need to fill up application form, pass uh, entry university exams, and conclude the contract with university. Uh, you can check uh, the links at QR code and to see uh, all detailed information about how to apply to our university. Uh, necessary documents. It is, of course, it is the main point. Uh, so, what do you need to apply to university? You need to passport with notary translation into Russian language. You can do it at notary office at your country or at Russian embassy. Uh, your educational documents also must be translated into Russian, into Russian language and also it must be legalized in case if we need it uh, to check uh, do you need legalization stamps or not. You can use it by uh, link at, your, at the, our upside QR code. Also, of course, uh, the photos of you and a recognition certificate. What is it and why we need it? Uh, in different countries, uh, between our country and your countries, can be uh, treatment about recognition or not to be. Uh, if we have recognition treatment, so you don't need to do this procedure. If uh, unfortunately, in case uh, if between our countries there is no treatment about recognition of education, you will need to get recognition certificate. To check detailed information, you can use this link. Mm -hmm. And also for students who want to apply at pedagogical programs, you need to pass some kind of medical test. Uh, to using this link, by using this link, you can see the list of all fields of study at our university. Of course, with entry exams, uh, you can hear, see the detailed information about Russian language course because main programs are in Russian. So you need to get some kind, uh, some level of Russian language to study at university, and of course, you will need to pre-university course of course of Russian language. And also, you can see the movie, the short movie about about our university. Uh, it is the last link. Uh, it is a 100 celebration movie, so it is a lot of different information about our university. And this is our contacts. So you can use this phone to contact us uh, our, at uh, any messengers or, of course, using our uh, email to send uh, your requests and, and the questions about information about our university. Uh, thank you for your attention. So thank you so much for joining us and I would like to invite and take a floor to the speaker from Tomsk State University of Control Systems and Radio Electronics. Hi guys, my name is Maria and I'm representing the Tomsk State University of Control Systems and Radio Electronics. This is a very, very long name to remember. That's why we use a short name that is Tusur University. Our university is not very big, so we're quite a medium-sized university with only 12,000 students. 
And we are an engineering university, an engineering university concentrated in the fields like nanoelectronics, telecommunications, information security, uh, control systems, programming, software developing. Uh, and we do encourage our, our students to become entrepreneurs. That's why we call ourselves Research Entrepreneurial University. Well, here are our faculties. We got 12 faculties uh, and most of them are engineering, as you can see, but we got also law faculty, economics and human sciences, of course. Uh, well, here I put some bachelors and masters for you to better understand uh, what kind of majors you can find in our university. You should remember that each major uh, can include several programs with different specializations, so the, then the choice is very very big, I would say. So I do invite you to visit our website to get more information. Um, what about the general information? So the tuition fee in our university is quite reasonable, I would say. Only 1,700 $1, US dollars per year for the bachelor that lasts four years uh, and for the master a little bit more like 1,800. Uh, the intake, like in every Russian university, is on September the 1st, so we are currently inviting you to, to candidate to apply for the next academic year. And all the programs we offer are delivered in Russian language. So, uh, in Russia, there is a concept of the pre-university studies. This is a one-year course where you're going to learn Rus Russian language good enough to become a bachelor or the master after to integrate the, the degree studies. And the price for the course is quite the same as a bachelor, 1,700. It lasts 10 months and it's already started also this year. Usually the intake is before the October the 1st, October the 1st. Um, why our university is so different from all those, you know, hundreds of Russian universities that you're going to hear about? That's because our university is implementing the project-based group learning. So this is a pedagogical approach uh, where we put our students into situation to, to, to work on projects starting from the very first year. What are the projects? The projects are the real projects proposed by the industry, by the faculty representative, by the research laboratories, or even by students. So if you have a brilliant idea of a project, you can come up with this and university will help you to develop it, to, to push it forward and to provide it with the services to accompany it. Like, you know, student business incubator, like acceleration programs, like uh, services, patent office, marketing, etc. So. We do like projects. Uh, and by the way, we were the first to open the student business incubator to support our students become entrepreneurs. Today, we got more than 200 companies around the university that are spin outs that are also participating in those project activities. Well, everybody speaks about rankings today, and we are not an exception. Uh, we are quite proud to become last year the part of the Times Higher Education uh, by the industry income in the world. We are 220s and having a good, quite good positions in engineering sciences and five-star from QS ranking for the teaching and employability of our graduates. Um, our university, even if it's not so big, it's very international. We got more than 2,000 international students coming from 36 countries. Uh, that represents almost 18% 18 of the full-time students on campus. And of course, all of them are having opportunities like dual degrees, joint programs, academic mobility, etc. Well, some examples of dual degrees. Uh, also, we do host international interns. If you are already studying in the university elsewhere, you can apply even for the internship, which is completely free of charge for international students. Only things you pay is your is your like expenses, personal expenses, and accommodation. Well, what is Tomsk and where it is exactly? Um, well, Tomsk is a quite nice city located in Siberia, the region which is a part of Russia. And uh, we, are, we were several years ago the second best student city because we got a very awesome atmosphere here with a lot of universities, a lot of students coming from different countries, unique cultural heritage. We are located in the middle of Russia, like in the very heart of the country, close to China and Kazakhstan. Uh, to come here, so usually students take planes or trains and there are a lot of regular flights connecting city to different hubs of Russia. Uh, we got a lot of students, as I said, coming from different parts of the world. Currently more than 90 countries represented and one person out of five is a student here. So a very nice atmosphere. Uh, 
depending on regardless of the season you can have like fun here if you like traditional leisure you, you can have like exhibitions museums wooden architecture etc some of the pictures and of course we get four seasons not only the winter because when people see uh, here in siberia they just think about the cold etc not really because here in siberia we got very long winter this is true but we got also a very good and very hot summer how to apply well different possibilities if you are just not sure about what university you're going to choose, but you want to study in not a capital city with quite reasonable prices, I do recommend you to look through the website that we created together with all Tomsk universities, that is Tomsk, studyintomsk.ru. Uh, with a, a searching engine, you can just put your priorities and you'll find different information about all the majors offered by all six universities, the prices, the contacts, etc., etc. But if you're sure to become a successful entrepreneur, software developer, or engineer in non-electronics, telecommunications, and automation, we do invite you to visit our admissions website, interedu.tusur.ru, where you're going to find all the information in English and French about the admission process, about the pre-university prices, contacts, city, residence, etc. Uh, very well explained. And of course, speaking about the residents, I uh, need to mention that every international student is guaranteed a place in residence in a comfortable and affordable international residence of the university located on the very heart of the campus. Um, and it's very cheap. So as you, as you saw, so only 15 US dollars per month per accommodation. And the city itself is not very expensive. expensive. Uh, the meals would cost you about two or three US dollars. Medical insurance for international student, which is obligatory by the way, would cost you only 15 US, 50 US dollars per year. If you need to use a public transportation, but well, usually you stay on campus because everything is located, very concentrated on campus. If you need to take a bus, it would not be very expensive. And the bigger part of the expenses, of course, is the tuition fee and the travel expenses to come to Russia. So currently Russian government allowed all students from all countries to come to Russia for studies. So take your chance to, to get this opportunity. Here, you're gonna practice any sports you, you like, even some exotic ones. And of course, if you just think about your career, you can have two, two possibilities. Uh, you can stay in Russia to, go, to get employed here or go back to your country because Russian diploma and university, Tusur University diploma is recognized being, you know, national university. Well, some photos of international students, very happy, survived, not frozen. And you guys, of course, are very welcome to join our big international family. Here I put my contacts. If you do like using emails, you can have it. If you like WeChat, you can have it. But all the questions you're going to send me are going to be answered. So, well, I'm ready for your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We are very thankful for all the speakers from our universities partners. I know that this event is really important for all of us and it's absolutely great that so famous educational institutions is here with us today. Also, I would like to say thanks for prospective students, for your uh, attention, your trust and your interest. Hope you will make your choice and make your decision uh, to study in Russia and I will be really glad to meet you here uh, in Moscow as well so thank you so much see you soon please join our next, next events also thank you so much